Welcome to video 8 on Train Controller 10 Gold. In this video we'll have a look how we can change the default ribbon menu into the classic toolbar menu which many people prefer. Uh, in, in the default train controller when you first open it after installation and this is the kind of um, menu you get and yeah at a certain point windows office uh, introduced this so-called ribbon menu it works great uh, although uh, to my personal liking i have to uh, change here the menu items more often than i uh, would have to if i had a toolbar and that toolbar that is still possible it is called the classic menu and over here you still have standard default menus but you have a lot of tools that you can click instantly without first having to change to a different ribbon so to me this is much more convenient let's have a look how we can change the ribbon to such a toolbar here we see the uh, ribbon menu and luckily the classic toolbar menu is just a couple of mouse clicks away first click this blue uh, rectangle here with the little arrow and then go to user interface and there select the classic user interface that should do it let's do it and yeah we get now the the classic user interface with the toolbars that I personally like so much. It looks like we can gain a little real estate here at the switch panel by rearranging these toolbars. You can pick them up here at the three dots and then carefully move them around and you can move it up also. And let's do this menu too, this toolbar, and then move that one up. And now all of a sudden it is also a lot smaller, this uh, menu and toolbar. And I gained some real estate in the switch panel, which can always be nice. What I would also like to do, I find these icons a little bit tiny. If you are, uh, uh, you need to click one uh, instantly or quickly, uh, it can be hard to find. I like them to be a, a larger size and also that is possible to change them click one of these tiny arrows at the end of a toolbar click add or remove buttons and then customize and now we have a, a window with uh, three tops and go to the options tab and there we can change the icons to large icons uh, you can also do that for the uh, the sub menus in the sub windows i i don't need that uh, these are now nicely uh, visible and quickly to reach now we are here we also might want to place a tick mark at always show the full menu well let's first not do that and let's have a look if you don't do that for instance here this view menu uh, it has this option that there is an arrow uh, to keep the menu a bit shorter. Uh, but look what that arrow does. It opens only one extra line. Well, what is the use of that? Uh, I personally like all my menus to always show everything. So let's go to customize menus and toolbars. It can be reached via that menu. And place this tick mark always show the full menu and look what happens now i automatically get the full menu every item that's available so that is a lot nicer um, all right this toolbar is yeah it is quite cluttered and maybe we don't use a lot of those icons uh, so we could get rid of those and it is also possible that we like to have an icon here that is not already in so let's see how we can move some icons around let's again click a tiny arrow and then oh, customize yes customize and what we can do now in the toolbar tab uh, we can move icons around for instance uh, i don't have a printer so why would i need a print icon i can just drag it off the toolbar 
uh, for cut, copy and paste, I always use Ctrl C, Ctrl V, uh, what have you, uh, Ctrl X. So I don't need that. For rotation, I always use the R key. Uh, so I don't need those either. And uh, these ones uh, I also never use. So let's get rid of those. In the command stop, uh, I like to add the tooltip icon because that's one that I frequently want to switch on and off. Let's have a quick look what that uh, does. If the toolbar is on, if you uh, move your mouse over a block, it shows a pop-up window of that block. But sometimes you don't want those pop-ups because uh, yeah, they get in the way if you want to switch some buttons over here and you have these pop-ups, then you cannot easily switch them. But now I have put my tool um, tips off and I never get them. But if I want them back, it's just one click away. Uh, there it is, the tooltip. So that is uh, for me an easy icon to have. Um, well, we can uh, get rid of a few others. Uh, we can also rearrange them. Personally, I never use these icons. So let's just declutter the whole toolbar and only have items there that we frequently use. Um, the clock, I never use it. Uh, so now my, my toolbar is nice and uh, simple to oversee. Uh, I could even change a few uh, icons but to a different position. I like to have everything that has to do with stopping things close to the uh, power buttons. Uh, that's just me. You can uh, have different ideas, of course. But now I have everything to start and stop uh, close together. This is nice. This is okay. This is how I like it. Well, this was a short video. We now have a toolbar available and you can put any icon in the toolbar that you frequently use. Much easier than that ribbon. Uh, next video, that is about the schedules that I like to make to drive trains on this layout, which by the way is a real layout. It is really being built right now. Maybe see you back in that video. In the meantime, have fun.